Hey guys, this is Rich Crowley here from Rich Crowley Reptaz. I'm videoing this little staker for a distinct reason. So a lot of people are concerned about short tails being aggressive and upset, uh, and upset all the time. Um, this is an exception to at least my collection. Um, I've got a couple of them that get a little stressed at times with handling, but this guy is exhibiting what people perceive as a classic defensive behavior, but um, out of the hundreds that I've produced, I get one or two that just uh, start out with quite a bit of spunk. And if you don't keep their cages clean and don't handle them with TLC, um, they could remain in this posture or this behavior over time. And of course, as they get bigger, it gets a little bit difficulty. So um, I'm going to show you a little bit of the do nots um, and the hopefully some encouraging suggestions when you do get um, a snake like this. So um, hooking on this one uh, is not really well received. Um, he hasn't been uh, normally aggressive, but uh, he's going through sort of an adolescent stage where he's just copping an attitude. Uh, but I wanna show you. So I've got some uh, leather uh, mechanic gloves. So these are, you know, service gloves. You can kind of see this leather on that side, nylon on that side. But as you could tell, he's repeatedly biting. It's not, they got short, relatively short teeth. Um, these are short gloves. I'm gonna, oh, hey buddy. And I'm gonna kind of show you, he did get me on the nip, but because that was, I was holding him and you want to get him upset, um, hold it behind the head. <laughs> so, but I'm doing this really to kind of, uh, get him used to the fact that my hand is is not hurting him it's you know it's it's obviously stressing him out this is not something i re recommend doing all the time um but i kind of wanted to show you like typical defensive behavior right he's hissing um the tail wagging very classic that strike uh preload uh <laughs> he's getting ready to strike and you know so this is the stuff that you know they get they get to be a little unmanageable sometimes uh when they're stressed and you know his cage was filthy um you know that's one trigger that sets them off they do not like a dirty cage uh this is just staging for video i'm gonna clean this tub out and he's gonna get a clean set to start off with uh, he will get soaked i'm gonna let him soak a little bit uh, for about an hour or two and sometimes giving them a free float for a while helps uh, but I'm going to warn you <laughs> when they come out you know they're wet um, a little bit slippery so you could definitely want to make sure you have rubber um, gloves or something um, dish gloves are really good if you're worried about getting bit um, and again their teeth are fairly uh, short uh, you don't want them to injure themselves you certainly you know uh, don't want to get into a habit of being fearful of the animals but uh, again this is a, a video for educational purposes you know when you're dealing with um, aggressive or actually I would say defensive short tails uh, this is how they used to come out of the wild <laughs> um, but to be honest with you I had a lot of imports uh, wild collected you know scarred up from nooses and stuff like that that even believe it or not they were uh, settled down fairly quickly in captivity so um, I'm just holding this guy back because he came out with a very unusual uh, pattern and color. And uh, he was actually very docile up until a couple of months ago. So he's just copping an attitude. So we're going to work on building his trust again and uh, figure out what it is that's triggering him to be upset. My guess is it's just a filthy cage. So um, anybody who's kept short tails long enough knows that they, uh, they like to make... Uh, a milkshake slurry of their feces sometimes um, and that can happen pretty quickly when they knock over their bowl and especially when you're looking at um, he's normally housed in a 32 quart he's just getting to the point now where he's going to be upgraded to um, probably like a 40 plus quart uh, container so uh, it gives you another perspective on you know dimensions of the cage and such whatever you use you got to make sure you keep it clean um, and if you don't um, this is potentially what you can encounter. So hope this is helpful. Take care.